Well, that is a dark forest. I'm not going over there. It's far too dark. Better go there. Just explore this forest in the sunlight, in the late evening sunlight. Uh, so yeah, let me talk to you about the Dragon's Path, my brothers and sisters. There is so much to say about the Dragon's Path that is not yet being told. Uh, a lot of people actually mistake the Dragon's Path for a being a religion. It's not a religion. It doesn't even seem like a religion. In a religion, everyone has to do the same and have to, everyone has to worship the same God. Uh, well, uh, in the Dragon's Path, we have a lot of gods and a lot of spirits and spirits that are attached to us and also spirits that is uh, attached to someone else or someone uh, that they uh, are living in the Dragon Realm and that is very far away. The, dragon, the Dragon's Path in itself is a spirituality where everything is centered around you. Everything is centered around you and your dragons. Where you do everything yourself. And the, yeah, like I said, there is, there is a problem. And that is that they always see the Dragon's Path as some kind of a religion. And then many mistakes will pop up. One of the many mistakes that I've seen on the Dragon's Path, that people all also on the Dragon's Path sometimes just don't seem to understand and let me try to uh, let you understand uh, not because i know everything of course not but i i uh, understood from experiences uh, that prayers 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 what are prayers prayers are um, messages that you send to gods not only that most of the time it's a recommendation it's a recommend uh, that you ask something to your god that you ask that you want something in return for the prayer and actually a prayer is giving energy to the to this uh, god where it's directed to and so also the message that is with it the message of the of you to this god if you want to win the lottery or maybe that you want to heal someone that is sick uh, you want something in return for this prayer well, that is something that you shouldn't do on the Dragon's Path. We do not pray. We should not pray. And in the beginning, I made this same mistake. I was searching down for prayers for the dragon. I wanted to pray for them. I, not because I wanted to some, have something in return. Because I love them. Because I wanted to follow them. And so I wanted actually uh, to, f to find uh, some kind of a prayer. And hoping that this exists. Uh, there are some people that say uh, a, a couple of rhymes together. But it didn't feel right it did not feel right it, everywhere there was there inside of my mind was saying no it's not like that you should not say th things like this then what should i say to my dragon you actually are doing it right now you just talk to us your mind talks to us you are actually not praying you are talking to us because you are by our side. You are on equal level. We are, you can call us a God, but we can say the same about you. We all have, uh, has, have been here for you. We all standing around here for you, not to worship, but because you are always connected to us, always, and we don't leave you behind. That is why we stand uh, by your side, all of us. And we still can feel you, all of us. Does this mean that we have to pray to you? Of course not. We talk to you. All of the dragons talk to you. You do not pray. You do not ask for something in return. Sometimes I ask my dragons sometimes for, uh, for things to stop. Like, for example, um, the, the lessons that I had in Leviathan's Void and things like this. Sometimes I prayed to stop. Because I was I was connecting this to Leviathan, and Leviathan is a very very powerful dragon god, and is also the the master of three different realms, three different uh, elements. So a lot of energy, of course. And I was praying, stop it, please stop it. But uh, the dragon does not listen to prayers, especially not Leviathan. He just doesn't listen to prayers. He listens when you talk to him. Or her. I mean, Leviathan is both both uh, energies, um, and he just listens once you are meaning it. Because if you are just saying gibberish, just like you are reading something from a page, then Leviathan or any other dragon god will not listen to it because you are not the one that talks. That is someone who wrote it down on a paper that you are now um, you you are now reading from. That is not your mind. Your dragon wants one thing, that you 
that you speak up with your mind. As, uh, just the same with rituals. Rituals are just the same thing. Just the same like um, a prayer, so-called prayers. A dragon prayer is not nothing. A dragon prayer is just that you talk to them. And a ritual is uh, an outing of, your, um, of, of the feelings that you have. And that you want to play together with, with your dragon or maybe in a sensual dance or maybe that you just want to open the gate together and that you, uh, that you, um, uh, that you have a ritual for this. Every ritual that you do is last minute. It always has to come from your mind, always. So don't look it up. It, it doesn't make any sense if you look it up. Your dragon wants you. They stand around you just to see, just how you see them. In the first moment that I, that I felt my dragon, I said, it's a god, it's a god. And they said, no, 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 it's because we felt you. And now we are here standing by your side. And now you can just talk to us. There is no need to pray. Why praying? I mean, I find it so idiotic. Once I was in church, all of these people praying, praying together, like in a... Uh, all together, all saying the same thing from this thick book. What does it accomplish? It doesn't want to say anything. It's nothing. It's empty what you are saying. Yet in these religions, they all say the same, like a good choreography, all, all, the, all together, all the same thing. But what are you trying to say to your God? Just that you are his minion, that just that you are his slave, that you need to do it because you just are, a, are stuck in this religion and now you are a slave of this God. That is, if everyone just says the same thing, not using your own mind, because in religions you cannot use your own mind. In spirituality, that is just the point. Use your own mind. Use who, who you are and say who you are. Because relig um, prayers, dragon prayers, real dragon prayers, is sometimes when you just are, are uh, having large emotions and you just don't know where to where to put it all of your emotions and sometimes you ask your dragon to be there but emotionally and and feelings the feelings are, are very strong sometimes this is talking to the dragon it's something that you cannot lie to the dragon and that is just it that can be considered as a dragon prayer once your emotions are very high and you just are talking with the dragon with all of your emotions you are crying you are happy you are sad you are anger angry this is what a dragon prayer can be. And it doesn't come prepared. It's always last minute. Always, always. And so, um, yeah, it, it, in these religions, I always say to the people, now, why are you praying? Oh, I want this and I want that and I want this and this. And as I said, but what about your love for your God? Oh, yes, I love him. But imagine if you don't get all of these things and you die tomorrow and you go to hell. Would you still love him? Uh, uh, but that won't happen, <laughs> is it now? <laughs> uh, you know, um, all of these religions, all of them, all of them are based to have something in return. And the dragon's path is not. That is why prayers are not something that you need to do here. Here you just talk with dragons. And talking with dragons happens sometimes with our mouth closed because the mind is speaking to them. We have a very strong mind and they can read it from it. That is the entire point of the dragon's path. It's an individual path, but not that you are alone. You will always be by the side of dragons and dragons that sensed you and that want to attach you again because they already has an attachment before. In these religions, say, they say attachments are bad, it's demonic. But what if I agree with this attachment? Be what if I agree with the feelings that I have? Because that is, like I said, it's forbidden in religion to have feelings and your own mind. It's just demonized very much. Why? Because you are free to do whatever you want. And whenever you feel the dragon close by in religion, you should uh, force yourself not to feel it. You should cover yourself. And that is what I, I, I want to say to the people. Don't cover yourself. Just let yourself be open to the feelings that you have. You are born in a natural way. And this natural way is being feeling the dragons. And that you can talk to them as well. That you don't need to pray. You, don't, you need to pray to dictators. You need to do 
to uh, for them for everything uh, that they are saying if you are praying all together all saying the same line it's empty it's false it's nothing then you it just want to say that you are a slave to this god and that is what the dragons are not the dragons will w won't never say that you are a slave of them will never you cannot be enslaved that is just a point of a draconic energy a spirit uh, a dragon cannot be enslaved but what is inside of you as well cannot be enslaved because it's draconic you can feel this very much within yourself and so sometimes people say to me pray for me pray for me pray for the dragons for me but i cannot i cannot do this no one can do this it's your path it's your path alone if you are in trouble or maybe someone is sick then it's up to you to use the magic it's up to you for everything of course everything is ups and downs that is how life goes uh, uh, that is how it is it's dark it's light it's 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 just the way it is uh, you can manipulate it sometimes but it's up to you and not to someone else sending prayers no no i will not because i can't no one can do this sending prayers i will not say to the dragon god that they need to help or things like this because that is up to you talk to your dragons if you are in need then just talk to them don't say that they have to do this because they will not react good for this for this um but talking that is the best prayer for the dragon talking just knowing that the dragon will listen listen if you are very sincere the best prayers of the dragon comes from your heart from your emotions your deepest instincts and most of the time your draconic instincts <laughs>